Hey, how are you? Welcome to our the first installment of our five-part series on dealing with a belly fat problem. I'm Jonas. I'm Jackie. And we want to thank you for being here with us. Um, it's really, it's, it, it, it's, it's an honor having you join us. And it's been on my heart for a long time to kind of reach out to my community and to share uh, my fitness journey and what's worked in my life and what hasn't worked and uh, to try to you know, reach out and help you guys in any possible way I can, any way I can positively affect the world. I want to, largely because of this woman right here. You know, meeting Jackie has changed my life in so many ways, so many ways, and she's just this type of person that inspires you to want to be more, to do more, to give of yourself to the world, and, and that's why we're here. Uh, sweet. So, oh, love you. But anyway, um, while we're waiting on people to join in, I'd like to, I'm going to share part of my personal story, my personal fitness journey. And it starts way back as a kid. I was a fat little kid. In fact, uh, in every class I was in, I was probably the fat kid. And so, you know, I grew up with my granny and she fed me well. But that same food that weighed down my body, it was weighing down my heart and my soul and my spirit too. I remember as a child, you know, at 12 or 13 years old, what I wanted more than anything in life was a girlfriend. I wanted to love and be loved. And I'd had a crush on a girl since kindergarten, but she wouldn't give me the time of day because I was the fat kid. I can remember just feeling so isolated. Uh, I remember vividly a night when I was, I was 12 or 13 and I was up late and just visualizing vividly in my mind taking a knife and cutting off my belly just to try to separate myself, try to, uh, you know, unyoke myself from this curse that was making me lonely and I felt unlovable. So anyway, I've, I've, I've been there. I've experienced it. I, I totally understand. Um, luckily, uh, hormones kicked in. I went through puberty and uh, uh, largely that helped with my issue in a big way. Hormones are a big key, and we will unpack that further um, over the course of this week. What I didn't know was that belly fat is different in several ways from fat on the rest of your body. Uh, you carry fat everywhere under your skin. It's called subcutaneous fat. It's, you, you carry it everywhere. Some people have more problematic areas than others, uh, behind your arms, on your hips, depending on love handles, in the chest sometimes, depending on where you're genetically predisposed to carry it. But there's something else going on in the belly, in the torso region, and that's visceral fat, literally in the viscera. Okay, that's Latin for the gut. It's fat on the inside as well as on the outside. So in your belly, in your midsection, you have kind of a double whammy going on. And that visceral fat is another area that we're going to unpack over the course of this week because it's a big factor in the size of our bellies and that stubborn belly fat that we all want to get rid of. So anyway, again, oh good, we've got some more people logging in, some comments. Hi Tracy. Awesome, thank you so much. Glad to have you here. Um, so yeah, Later on in life, um, I went at about 35 years old. I came up to North Texas to live with my, my stepmom and my dad. My dad had been diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease, ALS, and I came up to help out take, taking care of him with my stepmom in the last year of his life. And my stepmom will, she's got a free pass into heaven for that. She was a champ for real. Joyce Garen, love you very much. Um, so anyway, I, I, as you can imagine, staying home with my dad all day, every day, uh, my activity level was lower. My access to the refrigerator was very convenient, very easy, as we can all kind of relate to here during this COVID crisis. Um, and I slowly put on weight. Over the course of that year with my dad, I put on about 60 pounds. And how did you feel? Oh my gosh. Well, once again, it brought up those, those childhood memories of, of those feelings of being isolated and unlovable. I felt like I could not be loved, you know, so long as 
I don't know. It's just a, a, a whole mental depression that takes over. Yeah. I would look in the mirror and I remember thinking, that's not me. That's just not me. That's not Jonas. That's the guy who ate Jonas. That's not Jonas. And at a certain point, you know, I, I, I reached out and God blessed me to find a coach. Um, now, what had gone on, he explained to me what had gone on, unbeknownst to me, was I hit 35, boom, and I hit a brick wall as far as hormones go. I no longer had, you know, a nice, healthy, young adult set of hormones. I had the environment of, a, of a, an aging man. And hormones, again, will be another area that we unpack over the course of this uh, training. But um, another issue that we will get into is nutrient partitioning. This is the phenomenon. When you put on fat, you are more disposed to use the next energy available, the next calorie coming in, it's more likely to go to fat storage. So in essence, the fatter you get, the fatter you are more likely to get. You put on a little bit of fat and that grows and grows and grows. It's like a snowball. And it's a scientifically verified phenomenon that we are going to uh, explain to you and give you some steps to counteract because that's what this coach did for me. The, you know as well as I do, if you have ever looked and surveyed the, the diet and exercise advice out there, you hear all kinds of conflicting stuff. And if you're logical, you know that if person A is saying X and person Y is saying not X, they can't both be right. That's the law of non-contradiction in logic. They can't both be right if they're saying the opposite things. So how do you know what's true? How do you know what to follow? How do you know what the heck to do? Well, this coach pointed out to me that the conflicting uh, information we hear is not coming from the scientific community. It's coming from the marketing community. The marketing community who will say anything to get your dollars, right? They're not marketing truth, they're marketing product. So we are blessed to live in an age where we have a lot of scientific research going on in the area of exercise and nutritional science. And we can benefit from this. We just have to separate out the noise from the facts. And that's what we're going to try to help you do over the course of this training. So yeah, Jackie's telling me I'm rolling on. I, I tend to have diarrhea of the mouth. Pity my students. You know, pity my students. Every time you hit the table, it shakes. <laughs> oh, okay. So we've got a shaky table going on. Anyway, so yeah, I want to keep this brief, but I want to give you a heads up. Um, again, this coach, he, 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 he separated the fluff from the important things. And he told me what was important, what, the, very, the changes I needed to make that would actually move the needle, that would actually bring about an effect. And over the course of a year or so, following this man, I lost that 60 pounds and put on about 10 to 15 pounds of muscle. In the past few years, I put on another 10 pounds of muscle or so. And it's, um, that's a big key too that we are going to talk about is the effect of muscle on your frame in terms of caloric expenditure and what the benefits of having it and how to get it. Um, so anyway, uh, I just want to give you a heads up on where we're going with this, the tra trajectory of this, um, this five-part training. Uh, tomorrow, I believe, Jackie is going to go into... The, the dangers. Tomorrow we'll talk about um, how extra belly fat is dangerous for your body um, and what it can cause in your body. So if you guys have any of these issues with belly fat, please just drop... Um, a comment below say with you I'm struggling um, and then come back tomorrow same time same kitchen and we will talk about what why the belly fat is dangerous I'd like to encourage you to tune in to each one of these short videos because what we're doing right now is laying out the foundation we're giving you the pieces in a kind of a piecemeal uh, uh, fashion but they all come together in the end so that you can understand what we're fighting against. And you can't really address something unless you truly understand it. Now, we don't have to go into deep scientific depth. I can point you to the research in all the right places, anybody who's interested. But 
what I want to do for you is what uh, that coach did for me. Simplify it, tell you the principles that actually work, that actually matter. And, um, you know, give you kind of a map to get you out of these dark woods. Because like I said, I've been there. Um, I know that belly fat doesn't just weigh down your body, it weighs down your soul. And we can do better than that. We can do better that, than that. We're human beings, we're unity of, of soul and, and body. We're not complete without either. So let's take care of them both. Uh, God bless you. I will, we will see you tomorrow, tomorrow, same time, right here. Thank you so much for joining us. Take care. What? Every time you did this. I had shake, okay? <laughs> the camera would shake. Oh. I kept, that's why I kept going.